After your monarch caterpillar sheds five times, they'll stop eating, and what happens is they'll go and start to climb to the top of your container. And this one here, and what happens is they just, they'll curl up in like a J shape like this. And before you know it, I would say about one or two days, depending upon the temperature in your house, it'll form the chrysalis like the one uh, in the background there. But what they do is they'll, they go to the top and they actually spin like a web, real similar to like a spider web. And then they just hang there. And they'll turn into that chrysalis. Then obviously they'll hatch into the adult monarch. Here I got a bunch of different ones that uh, all generally, I try to keep all the caterpillars the same size together. But these ones here, they still have uh, quite a bit of growing to, get, to do before they uh, climb up to the top, but it's just an endless, you always need to supply them fresh milkweed. And what I've done is I put just a piece of chicken wire at, on you know, inside the cage, and then I lay the leaves on top of that and it really works out well because the frass, which is the waste from the caterpillar, just falls to you know below, right to the ground. And then the caterpillars have no contact with it. But it's nine o'clock at night. Uh, by tomorrow morning, I would imagine when I wake up, these two will be chrysalises. Please leave a comment. I'd, I'd like to know how your eggs are hatching, how your caterpillars are growing. And I'd like to know how you're uh, enjoying the course. So thanks again for tuning up, tuning in and uh, signing up. Make it a great day. Well, seven hours later, after the uh, caterpillars were in the J-hang position, I uh, shot a video of last night before I went to bed, woke up this morning, and I have two new chrysalises. So let me show you. There they are. Those are the two that were in the J-hang last night. And that one right there, thats I think that may actually uh, turn into a butterfly either today or tomorrow. That's been in there for quite a while. And if you notice, I don't know if you could tell, it's very dark in color. And that's what happens when they're uh, going to emerge into a butterfly. And the other two are very like, you know, almost like a fluorescent green. And those just turned into the chrysalis last night or within the last six hours, actually. So I would imagine when I come home from work tonight that I'll probably have a butterfly in there. And even just from last night, you'll notice I, I just put in that new leaf because all of the vegetation was gone. So these ones here will be getting, they'll, they'll probably start to climb to the top here and form their uh, chrysalis. So I just wanted to show you how quick, you know, it happens. And hopefully we'll have a butterfly tonight. Just some information too. A cocoon and a chrysalis are different. A chrysalis is actually like inside the insect. What happens is the caterpillar, it sheds its that skin and become, and then inside of it is the chrysalis. Like a cocoon, like a lot of caterpillars make, they'll actually spin that around their bodies. So the chrysalis is a is the insect, and uh, the cocoon is more of just a made around the insect. 
Well, that's great. Everything is working out. And so far, I have had a 100% success rate from egg to caterpillar to chrysalis. But now, I have not hatched a butterfly yet. And that uh, the one that's hanging to the far left will be the first one. And it really looks like uh, it's going to happen. Like I said, sometime today, I wish it was home from work. Well, stay tuned. I'll shoot another video in maybe maybe eight hours, and hopefully we'll have a butterfly in there.